Hi everyone, this is Norma with All My Crafts and today I have the tutorial on how to make this Mary Jane shoe for the American Girl doll. This is the final video so that you'll be able to complete your outfit. In the first video I showed you how to make the dress, I showed you how to make the crown, and I showed you how to make the purse. So now we'll be working on the shoe. So let me show you the materials that we will be using. We're going to use again the Red Heart Super Saver Stripes and it's called Retro Stripe. And we will be using a crochet hook size G. And let's get started. This is a very easy pattern to do. It's only eight rows, so it's not that difficult. We're gonna start with a slip knot, and we're gonna do a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven okay and we're gonna do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook so we're gonna skip the first one go into the second one and do a single crochet and in the next four stitches we're gonna do a single crochet so that'll give us a total of five single crochets to start with and this is nope for some reason the thread is not catching on. Okay, let me try that again. So this is the fifth single crochet. Now in this very last one right here, we're gonna work five single crochet all in the same stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work along the stitches on the other side of the chain here. So right here, 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 and here. Okay. And in the next four stitches, we're going to do one single crochet. So that's one, two, three, and four. In this very last one right here, we're going to work two single crochet in the same stitch. One and two. And we're going to slip stitch to the very first one. And at the end of round number one, we should have a total of 16 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to start round number two. We're going to do a chain one. And in the first two stitches, we're going to do one single crochet. So the first one, we're going to do a single crochet. Second stitch, a single crochet. Now in the next three stitches, we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch. So half double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in the second stitch, half double crochet in the third stitch. Okay, now in the next five chains going around, we're going to work two double crochets in each stitch. So this is the first stitch, and we're gonna work two double crochets. Second stitch, oh, I'm gonna work two double crochets. third stitch, two double crochets, fourth stitch, two double crochets, and in the fifth stitch, two double crochets. Okay, now in the next three stitches, we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch. One, two, and three. In the next two stitches, we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch. One, and two. Okay, now here we're going to have to be very careful because it looks like we have two stitches, but we don't. This stitch is our very 
last stitch and this stitch right here is our slip stitch from the previous row so that does not count as a stitch so this is the last one so in the last stitch we're going to work three single crochets in the same stitch two and three and then we're going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet and we're done with round number two and in round number two we should have a total of 23 stitches so now round number three we're going to do a chain one and we're going to do a single crochet all the way around but in the back loops only so we're going to go into this loop here we have the front loop and the back loop we're going to go only in the back loops here okay so just a single crochet back loops only and at the end of round three you should have a total of 23 single crochets in the back loop I'm just going to keep going all the way around. And as you can see, as I'm going around and I'm working in the back loops, this is kind of sinking in here where I'm holding it with my thumb. And all you're going to do is just, sorry, I can't get that last stitch. These this is just this yarn is just like breaking apart there let me try this again back loops only okay so all you're going to do is just take this and flip it that's all okay that's what it's looking like so i'm going to continue working in the back loops only and we're almost at the end here the last one and then all we're going to do is a slip stitch to the very first single crochet and we're done with round number three that's what it's looking like so next we're going to do round number four and again i'm going to do a chain one and in round four, we're going to go around again with single crochets all the way around, but this time we're going into both loops. So this one is very easy. It's just single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to continue working these single crochets, and I will meet you here at the end of round number four. So we're here at the end of round four and I'm just going to finish this last single crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet and we're done with round number four and in round number four we have 23 single crochets going around okay so we're going to start round number five in round number five we're going to start with a chain one and in the next seven stitches we're going to do a single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochets together so what that means is we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop insert into the second stitch yarn over pull up a loop now we have three i'm going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three so we're going to do this four times so that's number one so insert the hook pull up the loop insert the hook yarn over pull up the loop yarn over and pull through all three that's two three and that's four okay 
Now in the next eight stitches, we are going to do single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're gonna slip stitch to the very first one. And we're done with row number five. In row number five, we should end with 19 stitches. So now we're gonna move on to row number six. And we're going to start with a chain one. And in the next six stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now again, we are gonna do two single crochet together three times. So I'm gonna insert my hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the second one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So we're doing it three times. So that's one, two, And I'm going to go to the next one, and we're going to do our third one, and that's number three. Now, in the next seven stitches, we're going to work a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to slip stitch to the very first one. And we're done with row number six. And we should have a total of 16 stitches. Okay. So now we're going to start row number seven. Start with the chain one. And we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, now I'm going to Push this in a little bit here in the front here because I want to see my stitches because we're going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And in this fifth one right here, we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to do single crochet along this way. It should be a total of six, including that one. That's one, two, three, four five and six and we're going to slip stitch to the very first chain uh, first single crochet okay and this is round number seven we should have a total of 15 stitches right here so we're almost done we have one more row to go okay in the last row number eight i'm going to do a chain one and all we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet all of the way around. So we have should have a total of 15 single crochet at the end of round eight. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Getting into these chains can be a little bit difficult. Nine. And there is a stitch right here, so you've got to be careful that you don't miss that one, because if you do, you'll end up with 14 instead of 15. So that was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. I'm going to do a chain and we're going to pull on it and we're done with our shoe. So all I'm going to do is put my finger in here and kind of straighten it out a little bit and that's it. We're done with our shoe. That's what it's looking like. And here is the other one. So we got the two. And I'm going to bring the doll over so I can show you how snug it fits on the doll. So it fits very snug and it will not fall off. So I put it on and the way that I like to do it is I like pulling it from the heel right here. And let me just get some of this out. So what I do is I pull it from here and push and it goes up in the back. And as you can see, it fits nice and snug. Let me put the second one on. Again, I'm gonna, from here, stretch it because this does stretch this yarn. So we're done and look at the doll. That's how it fits. Nice and snug. This will not fall off of your doll. So, you know, um, it'll stay put. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe and let me know what you think. Let me know if it was easy enough. I think it is. So that's all that I have for today. So after this, you should have a complete outfit for your American Girl doll. We have the dress, the purse, and of course the crown. So I hope you guys um, comment. Please like and please subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.